I'm gonna do the Milso tag. For those of you who don't know, the Milso stands for Military Significant Other. I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. First question is, what branch of service is your military man in? My fiance, Ryan, he is in the United States Air Force. How did you meet? Ryan and I met in third period PE in middle school, eighth grade year. How did he ask you to be his? Uh, he didn't. It was more like an agreement. Uh, we were, it was the last day of freshman year and we were just kind of hanging out by the buses and we were totally flirting and one of our friends came up to us and was like, you two should start dating. And then Ryan kind of looks at me and he goes, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. And then I was like, yeah, it kind of does. And then he's just like, okay. And, and then that was that. Um, your first memory with them. My first memory, I would say, was when uh, Ryan was dating one of my friends. He was trying to be mean and funny and he called me ugly. And uh, I used to have unibrow, so I mean, I was used to the comments, but I never let them get to me, so I always fought back and I told him he had a little John. Where was your first kiss? Day of my 15th birthday. I didn't let Ryan kiss me, like the day we became boyfriend-girlfriend. Um, and since we weren't allowed, I wasn't allowed to have a boyfriend at the time, uh, we just didn't see each other. And then on my birthday, we met up at a Starbucks and I got myself a venti. He got me a dozen roses in the car and it was the first time anyone had ever gotten any roses, like ever, so that was a big deal. Yeah. Uh, what do you think of their family? His family's all right. His brother is a bit of an ass, but I like him regardless. Like, he's cool. I really like him. What does his or her family think of you? Uh, let's not go there. Uh, I don't know. They think I'm nice. How long have you been with him? Well, we've been together almost four years. It will be four years on May 21st of this year. Do you two have a good, stable relationship? We have a great relationship. Um, you know, we rarely ever fight, and if we do fight, it's mainly me. He's really amazing. It's just great overall. Um, has your boyfriend ever been deployed? Uh, no, he's in tech school right now, and um, his job is on like a non-deployable status or something like that, so he is currently non-deployable. During deployments, do you struggle with being happy? So he's never been deployed. Um, oh, I'll just use for when he was in basic. Um, basic was really hard because I didn't get to talk to him at all. It was just writing letters every day and sending them and like hoping that I would get one every Thursday. How do I struggle with being happy? Um, it was really hard, it was really tough, but you know, I met um, some other girlfriends and they helped me push through it all. Shout out to Carrie with a C, Carrie with a K, Drew, Amanda. Yeah. Has your relationship ever ended due to distance or almost? My parents are really strict, so Brian and I really never had a normal relationship. Our relationship was basically founded on FaceTime and texting. BMT was tough because you know, I didn't get that. It's not really a big issue just because our relationship before was basically texting and FaceTime and that's what it is now. Do I like uniform or civilian clothes? Yeah, I like his uniform. I like seeing him in uniform. Right? Like he looks good in blues and ABUs. The ABUs are my favorite. He looks really good in ABUs. Has he given you his dog tags to wear? No, and I wouldn't want him to like ship something like that because that's like his info on there. Like, um, has he given you a ring to wear? I'm engaged. He gave me a promise ring last year and he proposed this year, so. Do you enjoy dating a man in the military? What do you consider the ups and downs? When I was younger, uh, I told myself I would never be with a musician or a man in the military, and I got both. That's not what I wanted at first, um, but I'm super proud of him and I would do anything for him, so I'm just sitting here waiting patiently. I would have rather had him go to college and stay home and just not be in the military. It's his dream and I'm not going to, you know, keep him away from his dream. I'm supportive and I love him, so that's all that matters. I ever wish you had met someone who wasn't in the military. When I met Ryan, he wanted to be a professional golfer, so like I wasn't really worried about it, and it wasn't until like 
junior and senior year in high school that he was like, yeah, I'm going to go into the military. I and mean, I always try to talk him out of it, but it didn't work. <laughs> but I'm proud. And I'm so glad that I'm with him and glad that he's serving our country. Do you cherish time with him more since he leaves so much? I always cherish my time with him just because uh, with my parents, I wasn't allowed to see him more than like once a week and then when we were in school um, I wasn't allowed to see him outside of school so I always cherished my time with him and now my parents won't be the reason like I don't see him. It'll be because of his job and stuff so overall yeah. Is your man trustworthy when it comes to being faithful? Of course he's amazing if he's a little like perfect person. I'm just super crazy jealous and it's not even his fault or my fault. It's just how it is. Have you ever worried what could possibly happen? Like him, what does that mean? Him dying or something? Yeah, always. It's part of the reason I didn't, you know, want him to enlist in the first place. Um, or like leaving me or cheating, of course. What girl isn't? Like, not even the most confident girl in the world, like, doesn't think that once or twice. What? What has he said to you to get through that? You know, he just tells me he loves me and that um, he made a promise to me and that he's going to come back and all that kind of good stuff. Has he ever surprised you with homecomings? Not yet, because he's not deployed. So, real men wear combat boots. What are your views on that? A man is a man. Like, there's a lot of things that define a man and not everyone can be in the military. Um, I know a lot of people in my life who are very manly and they aren't in the military so yeah I think that's just that's just some cute thing that girlfriends or wives like to say to I don't know brag or something are you in love with your military man so much I am so in love with him I will not go there but yeah a lot well in less than three sentences explain your love and pride for him how do you do that in three sentences? Um, I just love him so much. He's amazing and he works so hard and is so dedicated for what he wants and what he loves. And I'm just glad that one of those things he loves is me. So, <laughs> go babe. What are your views on tag chasers? Have you ever been called one? I'm assuming, um, a tag chaser is a dependipotamus. Again, I met Ryan even before he was in the military and I tried to talk him out of being in the military because I could care less about the benefits or any of that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, I have been called a tag chaser. It's not fun because I could live in a box and as long as I was living with him, like, it would be amazing. Ridiculous. Like, People who do that should be ashamed of themselves, like honestly. One thing you'd like to say to all the military SOs and family members. Um, to all the family members and significant others, just stay positive. Try to think of all the negatives and then, you know, turn them into positives. Never forget the uh, cons, but always, uh, always, always bring up the pros. One thing you'd like to say to all men and women in the military. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your sacrifice. And please don't forget those at home that love you and care about you.